Howdy folks, I'm Jeremy, and this is my deck, Cyframes. Starting right off the bat, we've got three Cyframe Gear Alpha. He's the searcher, the responder to any kind of summon. If your opponent normal special summons, bring him out and driver, add a Cyframe card from deck to hand. Next is Triple Beta. It's a Cyframe deck, so you're going to play triples of a lot of cards. Beta stops attacks. If a monster declares an attack, special summon it, the driver destroys the attacking monster and sends it to the graveyard. Fun fact, this does not target. So suck on that Dark Destroyer. Then Gamma. Gamma is the effect stopper. Opponent's monster activates an effect, which fun fact, this works for anywhere. Hand, field, graveyard, the from play. Negates, destroys. I run two Delta and two Epsilon because I feel like three of each is way too clunky. Delta stops spell cards, Epsilon stops traps. Enough said. Uh, fun fact about all the frame gears, they're all tuners, level ones and twos. The reason why is because each one gets this guy, Driver, which if you're running this deck you have to run three. He's a level six vanilla, which means you can either go into a level seven or a level eight monster. Uh, most of the time, he's not even going to be on the field long enough for people to worry about, but he's a level 6, vanilla, 2500 attack, 0 defense. He laughs at Phoenix Chain. Triple card, card D, just because this deck has draw power out the wazoo. And then some. Card, card D, you summon it in the main phase, tribute it, draw 2. Then it's your end turn. But you don't care because this deck waits for the opponent to do something and then says nope. A lot of people prefer to run Wind Up Rabbit, but. I like going with Evil Swarm Thunderbird because it's 1650 that becomes 1950 by responding to a card effect going off. It banishes itself for a turn and then comes back the very next standby phase. It does not special summon, just returns back to the field. Uh, going into the spells, three of Cyframe Circuit. Cyframe Circuit is the best field spell ever invented. It lets you synchro summon using your Cyframe tuner and driver in your opponent's turn. It's also an honest. You discard a Cyframe card out of your hand and increase a Cyframe monster's on the attack on the field by the discarded monster's attack. Uh, triple Pot of Duality, because like I said, this deck loves to draw cards, no matter what. And don't even have to worry about special summoning in your turn, you do it in your opponent's. Two Psychic Field Zone, because I feel like three is just a little too clunky in the main deck. This one lets you special summon a synchro monster from your extra deck by sending two banished psychic type monsters, one tuner and one non-tuner, from remove and play to your graveyard. Which is really great if you can't set up your field spell early enough, but you can bluff your opponent. To terraforming, to search out your field spell, because search. A Raigeki, because sometimes you just really need that out. Especially if you're having to deal with pesky monsters that you can't target. Three copies of Cyframe Overload. Cyframe Overload is a very fun continuous trap card. When you activate it, you can either banish a Cyframe Gear monster in your hand or a Cyframe monster on your field, and then banish one card off the field face down for the rest of the duel. It also has a very fun ability when it's sent to the graveyard, except for the turn that it was sent there, you can remove this card from play and add a Cyframe card from your deck to your hand. Of course it has search. Yep, even the trap card has search capability. This deck is nuts. Two World Decree, because why not? There's plenty of decks that can run problem trap cards. I mean, let's face it, I've seen decks that run Time Space Trap Hole, this Trap Hole, that Trap Hole, John Cena's Trap Hole, uh, two Mind Crush, because Mind Crush is a Mind Crush. Sometimes it's just fun to pop this on the opponent. Plus, if I mess up, oh, okay, I'll discard a card out of my hand. It's a driver. The driver can be brought out of the graveyard by any Cyphering Gears effect. And the one of Solemn, which I will be upgrading this deck when Solemn Strike comes out. Moving into the extra deck. Like I said, this deck is synchro heavy. And it only really does level 7s and level 8s. Okay, let's do it this way. How many exceeds do you have? Absolutely zero. Okay. Ancient Fairy Dragon, because A, she can special summon a level 4 monster or lower out of your hand, which you don't really do that, but it's 3,000 booty. And 3,000 booty goes a long way. Also, pop a field spell, gain 1,000 life points, add a field spell from your deck to your hand. 
It's really funny if you're going up against Cosmos, and they need the field spell to do something, so... Oh, there's that. Yeah, you destroy their field spell, you gain a thousand life points, you add your field spell. Black Rose Dragon, because nothing's funnier than Black Rosing someone in their own turn. Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, because sometimes you don't want to blow up everything, and you want to keep your monster, and then they have a big level 5 or higher, and you just want to bounce it. Three copies of Cyframe Lord Zeta. He is my favorite synchro monster. Well, second favorite. You'll see my main favorite here in a minute. Cyframe Lord Zeta says, target one special summon attack position monster on the field, banish it and himself until your next standby phase, which means doing it in your turn, your opponent has to wait an entire turn without their ace monster. Also, if he is sent to the graveyard, you can return him to your extra deck and one Cyframe monster from your graveyard back to your hand. Hot Eyes Meteor Burst because you swing with this at Cosmos and they can't bounce out of the way and they're in the battle phase because of its effect. Its effects are, one, when you special summon, you special out a pendulum monster from your pendulum zone, but don't worry about that. The secondary effect says your opponent gets no monster effects in their battle phase. So, swinging in with 2,500, your opponent gets no monster effects. Bye bye farm girl. My favorite synchro monster, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. It's so clear you can't even see it. <laughs> the last level 7 is Yahtzee Evil of the Egg Zang. I hardly ever need to, because most of the time I don't see a need for him. He's there mainly as a bit of a filler, but at the same time, he can't be targeted by any card effects whatsoever. It's not bad, and he sticks around with that 2600 attack. Plus, he can turn himself into a Diamond Dire Wolf. He can pop himself and pop a card off the field. Moving into the level 8s, Stardust Dragon, because it's Stardust Dragon. Thought Ruler Archfiend, because this is a deck that Synchro summons Psychic Monsters, plus he's a really good level 8. Crimson Blader, because, like I said, Cosmos is a thing. If it's not clear by now, I really don't like going up against Cosmo. Then, two copies of Cyframe Lord Omega. Cyframe Lord Omega is one of the most versatile, generic, level 8 Synchro Monsters I've ever seen. He's too good not to run at least two. I thought about running three, but at the same time, that just felt like it would be too clunky and I'd never get to see a third one. When most of the time, I will have two Omegas on the field bouncing around like crazy. And just for giggles, I have Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. Two Flying Sea to stop your opponent from Xyz summoning because that does happen. Looking at you, Pepe. I don't like that happening. I've had to deal with Infernoids and Cosmos, so Chaos Hunter is nice. Your opponent goes e Telly, you discard Driver, you special summon Chaos Hunter, you laugh. Your opponent cannot remove any cards from play, so... And you have a 2500 beat stick on the field. Spell Shattering Arrow, because once again, I hate Pepe. -pay. Destroys all face-up spell cards your opponent controls and deals 500 for each one. They set up their their little scales, you pop scales. They do it again, you have another spell shattering your own face down. Three copies of Mystical Space Typhoon because this deck runs Delta. Delta is an MST that negates. So, yeah, that's a thing. But sometimes it's better to have MST and not need it than to need MST and not have it. Especially when your opponent flips Light and Prison Mirror, which that makes this deck stop completely. Everything in this deck is light, except for the card, card D, and Thunderbird. That's it. Two copies of Prohibition, because it's a deck that says no, let's make it say no a little further. You declare a card name, they can't use it. It works. The third Psychic Field Zone, because, like I said, it felt too clunky to have three in the main deck, so sometimes I'll have a reason to have a third one. Your Iron Wall just to check that whole banishing stuff, especially if you have no field spell and you're able to stop your opponent early, then you flip Imperial Iron Wall. Your frame gear won't banish itself and driver. And finally, Torrential Tribute, which I have Golden German. Because it's a Torrential Tribute. You're not going to have that many monsters on the field, and if you do, you can easily bounce them out of the way. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Since when do we have fun? 
we get salty, and then we get go cry. That's what we do. Absolutely. All right, this has been Nocturnal Films with uh, Jeremy with his side frames. And uh, go ahead and leave us a like. If you don't, I'm going to feed you your own balls. Take it easy.